Hello viewers, this is Just Fag Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news. And now the news in details. Federal government flags off cash transfer in Lagos State, says Sanwo Olu. The federal government has begun the conditional transfer of 20,000 naira in Lagos as part of her effort to reduce the effect of the coronavirus lockdown on residents of the state. This was reviewed on Friday night by Governor Babaji de Sanwolu, who said he received the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadiya Farouk, in his office. Over 160 cases of coronavirus have been recorded in Lagos State, out of the over 300 infections reported in Nigeria. Sanwolu said the minister's team was in Lagos to flag off the conditional cash transfer and supply of relief food materials for the poor and vulnerable including the elderly, refugees, internally displaced persons, persons living with disability, petty traders, hawkers, laborers, among others. Today, I received the Honorable Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Ajia Sadiyu Huma Farouk, who was in Lagos with her team, to flag off the conditional cash transfer and supply of relief food materials for the vulnerable. Our state is the epicenter of COVID-19 in Nigeria. We appreciate all the support we have received from the federal government. Again, I appreciate President Muhammad Buhari for his leadership and for his invaluable support. We will not rest until Lagos is free of COVID-19, the governor tweeted. The federal government had said beneficiaries of its conditional cash transfer had received heat in federal capital territory Abuja and some other states across the country. Similarly, Governor Dako Abiodun of Ogun State said on Friday that he received the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs in his office in Abeokuta. The Honorable Minister handed over five truckloads of rice and one truckload of vegetable oil as part of the relief materials that the federal government is donating to the state for further distribution to the poor, vulnerable and elderly. She gave a word to speed up the process of the federal government cash transfer to the less privileged in Ogun State in order to ensure that these beneficiaries remain well during the COVID-19 lockdown period which was directed for the common good for everyone. A building wrote on Twitter, the Punch reports that Abuja, Lagos, and Ogun are currently on lockdown based on the directive of the President, Major General Muhammad Buhari, as part of efforts to curb the circle of transmission of the novel virus in the country. So guys, what is your own take about this news? What do you think about what the federal government are doing? You can imagine it's a very good one. At least they are distributing money to each household. And now... Uh, the federal government, they are already in Lagos State right now, giving out cash. But my huge concern is that, how would they be able to distribute that money? That's a question that we have to ask ourselves. Because you cannot say that they are giving out money. There should be a condition for giving out that money. Maybe they will ask for the voter's card. Or maybe they will ask for one ID card or not, or something like that. There should be a condition that needs to be added to it. Because we cannot trust our people. We can't trust our politicians, our leaders in Nigeria. Oh, I'm telling you the truth. Before you know it, those money will be distributed among their, their family members. Those money will be distributed among themselves. At the end of the day, there will not be accountability for this money. That is the huge problem now. Because at, at this time, people are suffering because of this total lockdown. That we are talking about today people are really suffering people are living in abject poverty as at this time so if they now embezzle that money that will not be good at all i'm telling you the truth that will not be of good idea at all and nigerians are saying that let them give the food to people house to house by themselves adding with the 20k cash that is how it's been done in other countries. Politicians are so rotten in this part of the world. 
who on earth knows the parameter they will use in sharing the fund. I pray they should not limit it to the politicians alone, because so many homes are really suffering and waging in abject poverty due to the lockdown. You know, and they are saying that until I receive the alert, and that is the thing. If you don't receive the alert, how will, be, will you be able to testify that the federal government give you money? So every, it has to reach out to people generally, people in Lagos State right now. You know, and they're saying that most important thing we need in this nation is to pray for God's fearing leaders. Please, if it's really true, please don't use politics on this one. Because food was given out to party members in my area. I was shocked. And you know, people are just being scared so that they will not share this money within themselves. Politicians now, they know themselves very well. Before you know it, there will not be accountability for this money. And people do not want that because lives of people are in danger right now. Suffering, abject poverty is winning in, in Nigeria. And uh, thank God that the federal government is of help. Thank God that the federal government is of assistance this time. But we hope that it will be distributed equally. That is our prayer for now. You know, and they are saying that, uh, they said that man is dying of hunger. Not everybody is a salary earner. That is the thing, that people are suffering like right now. They need help. You know, when you go to some places, you will cry for them. For them to even hit one square me in a day is a big problem. I'm telling you, it's a big problem in, in Nigeria right now. So this is to tell you that people are still suffering. People are really suffering in our country, Nigeria. Why some set of people are enjoying the money? Why some set of people are embezzling the money anyhow without any accountability? You can't imagine without any conscience at all. And that's the problem. We are praying that they should distribute the money equally. They should definitely do that. You know, Nigerians still said that the money still goes to the same set of people. Imagine the money will be given to disabled, displaced, and extremely poor. Think over it, it's nothing for Legoncians. Hmm. We have to really, really think of, over this thing. It is not about the federal government saying that they are given cash, but it is about how the money was being shared. It is about how the money will be distributed, that people will benefit from it. I don't know why this thing is so hard for Nigerians. I don't know why other countries, they were able to do this thing. I'm telling you, other countries, they were able to distribute money equally, without any even challenges, without any problem. They were able to distribute food and all that. And a lot of people benefit from this thing. So I see no reason why it is so hard for our Nigerians, our Nigerian leaders, for them to distribute the money. Because people are doing it. You know, and Nigerians are still saying that they are deceiving also. But their generation, when the best method of transfer by BVN is there, but they go to a place, give one person televised, give one person televised it as if it's as if they give the whole residence. <laughs> God will punish this generation. It is well with our country, Nigeria. And we are praying that it will be better for them. You know, They are saying that, that someone is reasonable does not make the person rich. We have a lot of reasonable people in the South who are poor. The list released by federal government that are classified as poor in Nigeria did not capture up to 1% of poor people from the South. It is so bad. And let me explain. If you are a graduate and you don't have a job, you are poor. If you're a commercial driver, you your who lives from your daily income. In this case of lockdown, you are also poor. If you're a student at any level, you are poor. If you're a peasant farmers who depend on some sales of your crops for a living, you are also poor. So this group of people are mostly found in the south. And may have been classified as rich. These statistics should be revisited to carry others people along with the southern part of Nigeria. Exactly. There are some people, you know, you see some graduates, no job. We, we, we can classify those set of people as being poor. Farmers, 
that doesn't even have money, nothing to show for it. They are still poor. So they need to re- rethink over this thing and think about it very well. That it is not about you extremely poor. There are some things that can make somebody poor. You might still be wearing clothes and you are still poor. So this is to tell you that the federal government should share the money equally. Should make sure that people benefit from this money. Because Nigerians are suffering. We are really suffering in our country, Nigeria. Let's just be realistic to ourselves. So guys, what do you think about this news? What is your own take? Your comment is highly appreciated. And kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, I want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We we'll say God bless you. If you're here to do so, please kindly press the subscription button. Thank you so much.